Good morning and welcome to the early edition of the Eyewitness Morning News. On this Monday, October 8th, I'm Jay Cunningham. Former NOPD child sex abuse commander who was convicted for being a sexual predator himself is heading back to federal prison. Three people died in two separate shootings in Metairie. Deputies arrested Sean Barrett in those cases and later tied Barrett to this case after finding the same bullets in Marcus's car. And the more we look into this story, the more bizarre it gets. We did get some surveillance, though, as you just mentioned, that may give us a better idea of what may be happening. So how does this work? After you park your car, you're going to find your spot number and then put your money in this meter. And if you go over your time, a sensor in the ground is going to tell a camera to take a picture of your license plate, which could give you a ticket. Officials say the best thing to do in a situation like this is to try and stay calm. It's probably a lot easier said than done, but they say the more you stay calm, the better your chances are of getting out to safety. We're told the masked person took the stolen lawn ornaments and then ran down Clara Street. New Orleans police were notified and they're now investigating. I am Woman. Sure, it's a lot of fun, but there are some concerns, like if the company based in Russia has access to your photos and other personal data. Well, not an everyday occurrence, there have been alligator sightings here before, but instead of people fearing them, they embrace them. A source tells me that this molasses was supposed to be mixed with oats and things like barley, things like that for livestock, but you know, things didn't really go as planned. Hundreds of people are camped out on Rampart Street in support of the millions of young people struggling with homelessness across the nation. This year's historic openings of the Bonnie Carey Spillway left behind something never seen before, a whole lot of sand. Well, everyone likes to have fun, but we all prefer our personal brand of a good time. Having fun can also be very expensive. Now, the Bureau of Labor Statistics reports the average American spends nearly $3,000 on entertainment per year. 